Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today we are at the Oregon Coast Aquarium and I cannot wait. This is going to be absolutely epic. We are outside of the Newport proper area just across the river and this is about to be so so fun. And this place is pretty expansive so it's going to take all day to be here so uh, you guys are coming along for some of the highlights and uh, I'm looking to see some otters. Woohoo! This should be super fun and you're coming with us. Let's go. Along this adventure today, we have two of our friends with us. We have Riley from Riley Does Live, and Aussie Van Man is here, and we are gonna go on a little bit of an exploration. Now, if you guys aren't following them, make sure that you do. I'm gonna leave their link below in the description box. As we enter into the gates, there are a couple of different things that we're definitely going to want to look for. Right now, we are currently in this area right here. And beside us is the gift shop, which we're gonna go visit before we leave today. However, if we take this path, we end up in this area that has the sea otters, the harbor seals, the sea lions, the octopus cave, and the aviary, which I believe is actually closed today. They also have these three structures right here, and I'm most excited about this one because I really want to see some jellyfish. So this piece right here is all trash that was picked up in only about two hours from South Beach. It is not trash from the 2011 tsunami. This was actually collected from the beach several years before the tragic event happened, just showing the environmental impact that we as people have when we go to places that we love. In other words, the moral of the story is pick up after yourself and pick up after others so we can keep these places available to us. But with that said, let's go explore the aquarium. I I have been looking forward to this. Permagrant oh, yeah. is already happening. So we had a little bit of a tip from someone who volunteers here and she said we should hit the sharks first because it gets kind of packed in there. So we're trying to find our way to the uh, sharks right now. And so now we're going to enter the Passages of the Deep. Now the Passages of the Deep has apparently three different tunnels that you can go through and see some fabulous views of not only sharks, but other things. So um, you can see through, there's a, a rare breed of uh, human through this hole. So uh, let's see what else we can find. Now, one of the cool things about coming to an aquarium is they provide different kinds of experiences, including tours and um, different kinds of interactive things. So right here, we actually have a youth program going on, but um, we're about to enter into tunnel number one. I love that as you walk into tunnel number one, you find this and it actually tells you all the things that you could see in this particular tunnel. And Riley earlier thought she saw an eel. There is indeed a wolf eel in here. And so there's several different kinds of fish and plants, both within this tunnel. Wow, this is just so neat. And you can see the joy in the little kids as they're kind of coming through here and seeing something and discovering things. In fact, that eel that Riley saw, a kid found it again. So we confirm that yes, there is in fact an eel in there because the little kid pointed it out. It was so, uh, it, it's the snake of the sea, guys. It's the snake of the sea. Riley, what did you just see in there? There's a sturgeon in there. Ooh, let's go into that. Yeah.
Okay, so after we move through that area, we're going to the open sea, and um, this is where I was told there's a lot of people, and it's a little bit more loud, so it should be interesting, but there's sharks in here. Sharks, you know. Arr, 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 arr. Okay, after going through the tunnels, a few takeaways. It is a little bit crowded in there. Definitely tackle this as your first or last thing that you're seeing in the day. Now, as late as the day gets, it's gonna get more crowded, so keep that in mind. Now we're off to see our next stop, which I'm not exactly sure what that's gonna be, but I'm looking for the otters. I'm looking for the otters. Off to the octopus cave. Riley, 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 what is your favorite animal that you always want to see? Well, technically at an aquarium it's penguins, but I love octopus and we are at the octopus cave. Now the interesting thing about that, that was actually an octopus that only lives about three to five years and it was kind of cramped up in there in the back hiding. It says on the signs that you can't use any flash photography because it can actually traumatize the animals. And as you're kind of looking around, you'll see that there's different other signs also. Like for example, dark zone. It tells you that you're gonna be entering into a darker space. Also, there's a sensory overload zone, which means that it's going to be a little bit louder, maybe a thunderous noise because that's gonna be a spot that people people kind of bottleneck into. So I think that that's really, really awesome that they have all of those different signs, but let's go see what else we can find. So since this is super popular, we're taking some time kind of in the back and checking out some of the other things. They actually have each one of the seals with their name, when they were born, how much they weigh, and some background information about them. So that's pretty cool. So definitely check that out. It's several different pages, very neat. Uh, these two girls are both rescues, so they were both stranded when they were young pups. And as we have, they were deemed non releasable which is why we have...
So I just learned a few things while watching them do the demo. They actually do a lot of different training activities with the particular sea lions that are here. And the reason that they are here is because they cannot be released back into the wild because of various ailments and issues that have happened along the way. So I think that it's great that they have this way that they can interact and it actually helps the sea lions to be proactive in their own health care by keeping fit and then also allowing them to be able to access things like their belly, which typically you wouldn't be able to do with a sea lion. So I think that it's really cool to see those kind of displays, but also to hear how they explain to others that we can be a part of the solution instead of the problem. So uh, with that said, we're going to hit the road and go this way. Underwater viewing tunnel. Let's go through here. Okay, so we didn't see the otters in the lower viewing area, so we're gonna look for them in the upper viewing area, and um, I need to find them. They're my favorite. They're my absolute favorite. Riley! Yes! Do you see the otters? I don't think they're out. I think they're sleeping. <gasps> Brock, do you see the otters? Yeah, I'm looking at one. I sadly do not see any otters. Well, we'll come back here and maybe before we leave, they'll be out and about. Who knows? Only see the otters here. So this is or where these otters are. And um, there's fun facts. Actually, the females can live up to 20 years. Five years longer than the males. Sadly, the sea otters are actually extinct from the Oregon coast except for in places like this. And so if you see one, it is a rarity, a very big rarity. And in fact, they're on the endangered um, animals list. So having the opportunity to see one of the sea otters will be epic if we get to do that. But um, in the meantime, let's go to our next stop. So we're gonna go next into the three buildings which show you the various areas. There's like a coastal waters, a rocky shore, and um, this one, which I'm not sure. So let's go take a look. Now here there's a touch tank, but it's pretty packed in here, so you have to kind of get in there. So I'm going to try. Oh, that's weird. That was wild. Riley did it and she said it felt like it stuck to her hand and I did it and it definitely stuck to my hand. That was interesting. Now this one's pretty neat because it replicates a tide pool so there's actually flowing water that comes through and as it does you can see that there's like this sea foam on the top and then all of these things are not able to be touched. It's a tide pool so you can kind of see what it looks like, how things move, stuff like that. It shoots water out like a tide and then it goes away and you can see how all the things move.
<laughs> that was cool. I love jellyfish. They always make me smile somehow. It, it's kind of interesting. Now we're going to the California Current. Now each one of the displays in this room have a different title. And so again, I can't show you all of them, but I'm going to show you what we might find along the California coastline. There's a lot of really cool things here. Definitely something I, I'm super excited about expanding them on just a little bit. Those were neat, but I found more jellyfish. Let's go check these out. They look different than the last. So that was just a look at two of the buildings. I'm gonna leave the third one for you guys to go check out. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go check it out and uh, get all the good secrets. But also another thing, as we were leaving that particular display, you'll notice that they do have plans for expansion. So as time kind of passes, they're doing a lot of different improvement projects here. So you'll be able to see even more of the fun critters. So super, super fun. Okay, so uh, someone noticed something. What, what did you notice? Yeah. Uh, the turkey vulture enclosure is also closed just as the aviary. I so, seen a sign out the front. So all the birds are off limits today. No birds. Mm -hmm. No birds today. Oh. Mm. Hmm. Okay guys, I found a patch. So you know what that means. This is gonna be going in the van. Okay guys, that is going to wrap it up here at the aquarium. I hope you've had a wonderful time. I know I have. Remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. And places like this have definitely made it that. Till next time guys, bye.